time for the mix. Sometimes when you go to people's houses, you kind of wonder what's in the food. Like you might find a hair or something. Oh wow, really? What if you could look in and find really? out exactly what kind of things are inside the food? There's a new device. Take a look at this. It's a limited edition utensil from Object Solutions. The bowl of the spoon has a magnifying glass. So you can actually look in to detect unwanted materials in your meal, like the hair or whatever. <laughs> it's built in with that magnifying glass. Is this what we want, really? <laughs> Do you really want to know what Grandma put in that when she, her eyesight is going? Sometimes you just want to go with it. You just want to roll with it's it. It's better not to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you do want to know, <laughs> That's you've the got spoon. the magnifying glass spoon. Oh. <laughs> Our thoughts exactly. <laughs> One other here, we, have, we see some unique uh, marriage proposals. This is what a farmer decided to do. He uh, decided to write the proposal on the sheet. You see that? Will you marry me is what he wrote. Now, uh, you, again, I didn't grow up on a farm, but uh, apparently some people did. I didn't yeah. remember from my school days that mm -hmm. a you is a female sheep. Oh, so, that's right. I don't, is that offensive to the woman? He said, will you marry me? Or no. is it supposed to be cute? Kind I of would thing? say it's not a bad story. Man, I was hoping we could avoid that. <laughs> you knew it was coming. Ugh, you knew it was coming. It was coming. <laughs> but she said yes, by the way. She did say yes. Um, they say that a way to a man's heart is food. It might be also the way to a dog's heart. There was a dog in Ecuador, take a look at this, who was with this group of folks who were training for this, uh, it's a show, it's a Adventure Racing World Championship. These group of Swedish guys came together. One of them fed that dog, mm -hmm. stray dog, a meatball. The dog followed him everywhere. They got in canoes, he got in canoes. He paddled behind him, they went hiking, he went hiking. They admitted they gave him a little bit of help along the way. It's a pretty intense competition. And in the end, the guy who fed the dog a meatball ended up adopting him. Okay, that's cool. I mean, he, he followed them through the whole entire trek. That's Six cool. day race. That's what happens when you feed a stray animal. It might stick around. It might stick around. This one was committed, apparently. That's why we try not to feed you, but you still keep coming back every <laughs> well, you night. you keep giving food. <laughs> uh, last thing here. Uh, we know Santa uses reindeer, but now we got the police force in Russia possibly using reindeer as well. Yes, for policing, actually. There are some really cold and treacherous areas uh, in Russia, and there's this Arctic area where there's a lot of crime, the Arctic tundra region. It's so far north that they have a hard time. They use snowmobiles now, but they run out of gas, they break down. Reindeer can actually handle the terrain, and they're considering now using reindeer, and they would ride them around to police this particular area. So a real reindeer patrol. See, don't mess with Santa. He was onto something very early on, Santa years ago. Knew. Santa knew. Don't doubt Santa.